Hey Blasters, and welcome to the third episode in our Big Blue Bulk Blaster Rebuild by Blue Dog Blasting. So today we are going to be assembling the pinch valve and we are going to put together a coupled pinch tube to put into it so that we hook into our uh, metering valve. This will go through the pinch valve and have our other hose coupling on the other end so that you can hook your blast hose right to it and this will pose as your on off. So we'll show you a little bit later in the episode that we're going to be doing an electric conversion for this uh, blast pot but as you may know, it's all pretty much pneumatic um, because of the valves. All these valves operate based off of air pressure. So this valve, once you get the compressor run and air gets to it, um, it automatically pinches closed and basically turns everything off because once you pinch this, all your air and abrasive has nowhere else to go because it's pinched by this. So we're using a four ply 15 240 hose for this. We do have coupled hoses on our website, um, basically to accompany a lot of you guys that might have the dustless blast system. It's used on that. I think I've seen it on a Graco as well, but you can use it anytime that you're using a pinch valve, which is a nice, easy way to do an on off style valve uh, whenever you're blasting. So we're gonna get these parts assembled. Then when we go back out there, we're gonna mount this right onto the blast unit itself. And before we do that, when you put air to it, it's gotta go somewhere. So we do have our line in, so I'm gonna get that put on as we start getting everything put together, and then we're gonna get out there and put everything on that pot. Stay tuned. Hey Blasters, and welcome back to our blue, big, big, Hey Blasters, and welcome back to our Big Blue Bulk Blaster Rebuild with Blue Dog Blasting. So we've already got our pusher line assembled and installed onto the machine. We also have our metering valve assembled and installed at the bottom of the machine. So today we have our coupled pinch hose, which this is actually a custom size that we just made in the shop for you. Um, but we do have several sizes available on the website that you can go through and if for some reason you got a big project like this that you're doing at home feel free drop us a line and say hey Sean I'm gonna need one of these but X amount of inches we'll get it cut for you so I have already taken the pinch valve and mounted it onto the frame here we got two bolts holding everything into place again your pinch valve is basically your on off from your dead man switch, this is gonna make you stop and start blasting. So we've got it assembled and on the unit, we'll get everything tightened down a little bit later. This is, fits right through here. Again, the pinch valve just pinches down, crimps this hose shut, stops all the airflow. So we'll slide this through, and then we go from our hose couplings to our tank coupling, assemble everything, always safety first, make sure that you have your 80-102 safety pins. We'll get that installed and we'll just keep showing you how you get this done. All right guys, so we've got our couple pinch hose through our pinch valve hooked to the tank valve in order to put air to this thing in order to actuate the spring-loaded valve inside here. We're gonna have to use a little bit of air hose and we've got some simple crimp rings. I'm gonna slide that on. All right now so the air is gonna go to your pinch valve, but it's gotta come from somewhere. And if you recall, I said that this was an electric control unit. So we have our electric control box here. This is where all the air that comes from the compressor through the machine into this gets converted or actuated by an electrical signal. So your dead man wire is gonna tell these valves on and off instead of letting go of your dead man the air going to it stopping coming back and everything else pretty simple concept um, so we're going to hook this into our number two because we started on our number two for some reason today don't know why i'm even going into that and but we are not quite there yet we're going to do everything all at once so again same style valve we've got quarter inch threading we're going to get that all situated with another crimp ring and then it's going to come up and go to 
our little number two solenoid and get everything all hooked up there. But that'll be a project for another day. So for now, we're pretty much done with what we had to do today and we can come back and finish up a little bit later. Get out there and blast. Hey blasters, so that wraps up part three of our series. We have the, the pusher line from the front going into our abrasive metering valve. <laughs> and we have our pinch valve hooked up with our coupled pinch hose. So basically everything is in place so that we can get out there and blast. We're going to keep you updated as we keep finishing out the project. That was only one part out of three, I'm sorry, four parts that need to be done because that is a four operator unit. So we do have a lot of work to do. So basically take the last couple sections, do it over a couple times, and you got yourself a blast pot and unit to get out there and blast. Whack. Forgot the... I was going all over your nuts. And don't forget, like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Leave all your comments below so that we can keep up with you. Let's join a conversation. Um, if you have any questions about what we did out there on that blast pot, drop them down in the comment section below. Go over to our Facebook page, give us the old thumbs up. Get over to bluedogblasting.com and make sure you pick up some parts so you can do everything that we just did for your own blast pot. Now get out there and blast. Get out and blast! Get out and blast!